Hello. Good evening, everyone. How are you doing tonight? Hello, Alvaro. Teacher, why so serious? No, I'm not. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm hello. happy tonight. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. Don't worry. How are you tonight? Uh, well, I, I am right, arriving at home. Oh, okay. Now. Great. Great. So tonight yeah. you are participating. Great. Yeah, this is good news. Good news. Yeah, I'm so glad for that. And well, right now we are just um waiting for your classmates because they were joining. Uh it's only okay, there are only one, two, three, four, five, now six of you. So I just gave some time for everybody to join. Mm -hmm. That is why I was kind of serious. And also I sent a message. I was worried. I was not serious. I was worried. <laughs> yeah. Um, you see my message? Yeah, actually, no, I'm sorry. Right now? Eh, no, este envié un mensaje porque no me dejaba entrar, pero justo en eso me dejó entrar, así que lo voy a borrar. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Here they are. I thought they were, I mean, they were deleted by Jose Miguel because he was writing too. He was sending texts. So I thought I didn't check the, the name. I'm sorry, Rafael. But yes, there, there are three deleted. Hello, Ana Lorena. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Uh, the problem that Zoom up gives is that if you don't update the Zoom application, then you will have the, that kind of problems, Rafael. So you have to be uh, aware of um, uh, to check the updates, to check the updates and do it automatically. All right. Mm -hmm. And today it was available an update. So automatically when I open Zoom, um, it started the installation. Okay, Rafael. Sorry. The problem with the Zoom app is ah. that if you don't check the updates, then yes, uh, I... that's the problem. The Actually, access... I I um update the application for for this class. Now, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And even so, you couldn't uh, get in, right? Even doing that. Yes. You couldn't, or until you did that, you could. Um. Lo que hice fue ir a, a la plataforma y picar en información y, y desde ahí eh, pude entrar porque desde el WhatsApp como que el enlace no me dejaba. Oh, ok. Ok, well. Something was happening. All right, thank you very much, Rafael, for letting us know. Okay, people, we are starting the class. Remember the topic we are starting? Do you remember the topic? It's a very interesting topic, I think. Well, actually, it is for me. I hope this topic is, um, a, <clears throat> let's say, attractive to you, too. And more over uh, to be helpful, useful. All right, branding, the branding strategy. This is what we are talking about. And remember, these classes are conversational. So uh, this is for us to untwist our tongues, okay? We need to untwist our tongues. So we need to speak, right? We need to speak. This is why I am insisting and every time I'm pushing you, to speak, okay, because I need to hear you. And I know, and I have felt that you are mm, giving a big step. Yeah, I have seen your development in this class and I feel proud of you guys. I feel proud of you because I think we can keep conversations uh, uh, longer and deeper, okay? Like from the small talk to the smart talk, of these topics, marketing topics, right? So this is interesting. This is interesting. And it is interesting to see you uh, interested in this, interested because, you know, this is not only for today. This is, well, marketing is the career of the future, right? We are always selling our own image. We are selling what we are. We are selling what we do. Uh, and we work for a price, for a salary. So we are selling our knowledge. We are selling our preparation. This is the purpose to prep, uh, to study, to uh, in the purpose of professional development too, okay? To improve our incomes, to improve our incomes. Okay then, I hope uh, you are okay tonight. Is it raining over there? Is it raining? In my house, no teacher. Oh, okay, great, great. Mm -hmm. No fear. Okay. Was it raining in the morning in your places? Very much. 
Oh yeah, here it was raining too. Mm -hmm. I was worried because mm, uh, there was no hope that it is stopped because it stopped around 10, 30, 11, around. And internet got disconnected, then the power cut. So, oh my God, I, I was really worried about day to day. But okay, here we are, here we are. No rain, thank God, no rain. So let's start then. Let's get started with this new topic. Actually, it's the same as, uh, let's say, continuation, okay? <laughs> this is your class number 18. And we are studying branding strategy. Uh, we learned before about what is branding and also uh, what types are, of branding are apl applicable to different kind of products. So this is what we were studying. That is why tonight we want to talk about the components of effective branding. Remember, this is conversation. This is what I have to write right here, okay, conversation. Yeah. Conversation. Our objective, to talk about effective branding components. If we uh, explain a little more this objective, we will say that we want to talk about the components or the tools we want to use to um, have success up, uh, implementing a branding strategy. Remember that we create strategies, we implement strategies, we revise strategies, then we analyze strategies with our research. After the research, okay, then we present and make decisions, okay? Then we make decisions. This is what effective branding uh, process would follow, okay? We first, actually we conduct a research at the beginning, right? Conducting a research. After conducting a research, we develop the strategies, we clarify the strategy, we clean up everything that we think it's uh, not going to work. And then we design our identity, right? We design the visual elements like logos. Um, we make the combinations of colors, the presentations or the visual um materials or media we are going to use okay and then well creating touch points touch points how to get to people touch people touch the market the target market then we manage the assets everything works in our favor uniforms business cards, uh, the employees, messages they uh, transmit, and also um, the vehicles, transportations we've got, the buildings, those assets that we have in our hands, we brand them, okay? We uh, put our name on them and create a strategy to, mm, let's say, uh, to uh, find a positioning in, mine, in the mind of the customers, all right? So, hmm, let's see what's the difference between all these gray guys to this red guy. What do you think? Do you see any difference?
He is unique. Yes, unique. he is unique. Mm -hmm. What do you think this guy could be thinking in this moment? He will be a leader. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? He is different from the crowd. Yeah. He differentiates from the crowd. Right. He shines. Yeah, he shines. He's completely unique. And, of course, not the same as the others. Okay, not the same as the others. He's got his own brand. Okay, he's, uh, he's got his own name, his own behavior. And, obviously, it's an outstanding behavior. Uh, you can be marked also with a bad branding, right? So today we are not talking about bad branding. We are talking about effective branding, okay? Effective branding to put money in your pocket, okay? This is what we do because marketing is actions to make yourself profitable. Our agenda tonight, branding related vocabulary feedback. Then we have in the discussion forum, actually we are going to have just a, in the breakout rooms, a discussion of some questions. Then we have uh, the vocabulary about the components of effective branding in a way of a conversation. Um, actually, what we really need to know are the results, how to uh, measure the effectiveness of branding, the recognition of your brand in the target market, right? This is what we need to learn today. Then we have some written exercises in the manual and also we will talk about the homework. And the session one-on-one -on -one tonight is for Alvaro, okay? Alvaro, tonight is your turn. Are you able to stay after the class? Mr. After Alvaro? The class? Yes. After the class? Yes, okay. your 10 minutes. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay then, guys. So let's talk about uh, the vocabulary we learned yesterday, okay? You please. Be ready. I will say a name and then you are going to explain just a little bit what uh, are the basics of branding. Okay. So let's start by, uh, let's say, Carlos Ernesto, are you available? What? Okay, Carlos Ernesto. This is what you want, I mean, that you will do. You will talk about these four things um, to define branding process, okay? To define the branding process. The first one, the next one, the next one, and the next one. Uh, the first, I think, uh, get a product. And next is, is how do you say visto bueno? Uh, to check or to revise, to approve, to authorize. Uh, yeah, um, check the product, uh, but um, for the check is necessary um, a log. Uh, identify the product. Um, next. Uh, I don't remember loyal is leal. 
Yes, yes, it is. Okay. Um, um, I see the herb uh, associate uh, the loyal is um, uh, I, I must the convince the uh, convince and the product for the uh, to sale. I think. Creo. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. um, and the final is in the strategy uh, um, publicity. Publicity is the society figure, is the Oh, you know, little toy, uh, me megaphone. Mm -hmm. Megaphone. Megaphone associated with uh, publicity. Uh, I think I got a soul. Okay. This is more related to communication, right? Because it says, Tales. This is more related Tales. to communicate, right? To communicate, not exactly advertise, but to communicate with the people. Um, and also tell them exactly what they can expect from our product, right? Very good, Carlos Ernesto. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Hosman, please explain the class, explain to the class the branding basics. Okay, uh, the branding basics and the four components. Uh, first component is uh, on say you have create a product, you need to come with the brand. Um, this case is the whole company is necessary. I have the identification and the consumer because it's necessary to identify your, your brand. Um, and second branding basic, a uh, brand needs a logo. This is the identif identify the company or brand in the, in the different place on geographic uh, position the, the company. It's necessary the consumer identify and, and need the, um, you need to identify, identify the, the brand or the company. And next, uh, next brand basic is to be true, your brand is loyal. Uh, loyal. Um, the, for me, this, this company significa the identify is really the, the brand no 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 false for example we in the consumer uh, identify uh, or with the brand if for me the brand the basic the lots uh, your brand tells your customer what they can expect from your product is the it the for the different for the, the company uh, player your 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 brand and the consumer and the different moment and the different activities on and geographic is very important the different place and uh, identify in the consumer teacher this is for me the the, the branding basic in okay. for, and for AC okay very good. So we need a brand uh, for any product we produce, right? Because each product has a brand, but also they have a name. So what is important is the brand that it's behind the name of the product, right? And then a brand needs 
and logo. Very good. Identity. Identity. Uh, in the logo, we play, let's say, with combinations of uh, types of letters. Maybe you combine colors and you make a unique uh, palette of colors that identifies you, or maybe a color that relates your product to something in the nature, right? In the net, in the nature, natural things. For example, with the ocean. So you relate this to the uh, to your product or to your brand, right? Combinations, colors. Maybe sounds too, maybe sounds too. For example, when you turn your cell phone on, it has a start music, right? A, a melody. And you recognize, hello, Moto, right? So you, you recognize that it's part, it's part of the identity, right? It's part of the identity or the... Clink, 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 the tigo, right? Or maybe, um, I don't remember if it was Banco Cuscatlan that had a smile, a big smile. And then it was like a click, right? When it showed up. And it, uh, cuando se estiraba la sonrisa, hacía como un click o algo así. Eh, ese tipo de sonidos, though, that kind of uh, sounds, also identifies, also identifies, right? And let's see, to be true to your brand, this is the main purpose. The main purpose is that everybody remain or keep buying your product, right? And remember your brand. For example, what I said yesterday, Lido, yo de Lido no me olvido, right? So to be, um, True means to be loyal. You are always there. For example, uh, the varieties of Lido, the, the um, sandwich bread, okay? The loss of bread. Yeah, so uh, it's, and El Salvador is traditional now, okay? And- Teacher, sorry. Uh -huh. This is, uh, this, he, this his name is a slogan. Uh -huh. uh, uh, that, for example, uh, Lido, no, yo no, Lido, no me olvido. This is a slogan, right? Yes, so, actually, in yeah, Spanish, yeah. no, in Spanish, we no. have only one word to define this commercially. Uh, slogan is slogan, but in English, no. we have another another word that it's a tagline. Okay, a tagline. Tagline that it's not oriented to make you buy my product, just to make you identified with my product. So that's a tagline, but we have also the slogan to uh, change your behavior at, and make you buy my product. That's a slogan. That's a slogan. Mm -hmm. And then you say, Yo de Lido no me olvido, then you are in the supermarket, so remember to buy Lidl. Yeah, that's in other words. So to be true to your brand, okay, means that you will get loyalty and you are going to reward the loyalty of your customers, right? You are going to build these loyalty programs to keep your customers, to maintain your clients, okay, and they uh, to maintain your clients happy, yeah, uh, because you are like um, giving them something of what they gave you first, okay. Then your brand tells your customers what they can expect from your product, uh, but actually, my brand, my brand is like um, cola champagne, right? Cola Champagne has to maintain the flavor. If they change anything of their brand, of their composition, their recipe, maybe uh, we are not going to accept it anymore, right? So they have to tell us any change. They have to tell the customer 
the new presentations. If they are changing the logo, they have to um, a, they have to communicate that they are doing the changes and also and also that the product is the same and it's going to function what it was made for. Okay, so this is branding. This is the basics. Okay, this may, is. May, uh, teacher, may yes, I ask please, uh, uh, a question? Uh, in branding strategy, uh, uh, is close uh, some uh, points uh, from, from brand strategy you call a uh, price, uh, digital marketing on uh, social media, on media brochure, like that. Mm -hmm. But that is close to marketing strategy too. Because in marketing strategy, do you have a place, uh, you have a, a price, a, a, a product service, promotion is close. I exactly, mean. exactly, of course. But this is the thing, Santiago. We are talking about a globe, the globe is marketing plan. Okay. okay. The globe is marketing plan. And the marketing plan is a document where you collect or you create and write all the strategies. The strategies include product oriented to pricing, or oriented to promotion, and the oriented to is the brand. placement. And the product no. is the brand. No, no, no. The brand okay. is completely different in some way. In some way. Ah, because yeah. okay. we are talking about the name of the product and we are talking about the brand that you are building. Okay. Ah, yeah, because some people I hear that they are talking about a product. It's like similar. a brand. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, I want to that you clear it because we are in a, a, a small line. No, you know, okay. to mm -hmm. uh, to go to marketing strategy or to go to, to branding. No, because it's marketing something. marketing strategies are all of them. Okay, marketing strategies are all okay. of them. It's okay. Uh, yeah, oriented to the four piece oriented according the flow of the PLC, right? The product life cycle. It's correct. And also um, following the process of the development of the yeah. product from the idea. So this is a globe. This is a yeah. globe. And I know uh, what you said yesterday or, 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 or Monday, and I know there are uh, many branding. There are product branding, personal branding, corporate branding, geographical branding, and cultural branding. I know. Uh, the, but we are uh, talking about uh, our product. That is what I want to know. That uh, okay. To clear. Yes, you actually. Know, because... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Okay, when we talk about a product, we see it as a globe, as a part right. of okay. the business plan, right? Okay. Remember, it. Uh, I will show you just one of the slides that we were looking at. So you are going to visualize how this works because we said that, uh, just one second, here we've got the business plan. And in the business plan, we have the marketing plan and all the activities of the company oriented to buying and selling, right? So here we've got it. Okay, we, we have our business plan. In our business plan, we have different plannings. Look, marketing plan, product description, company background, operations, the mission statement. This is related with branding too. This is related right. with branding too. The company background is related with branding too, okay? With the public relations, with the promotion, with marketing, with the research we are conducting continuously, okay? You have to go all over, all over the activities of your business. Business and you have, plan. Yes, you need right. a business plan. In the business plan, you have the marketing plan. In the marketing plan, then you have the strategies from the product, 
price, promotion, and placement, and branding. And we are going to see right. something later uh, related to this too. Because okay. in marketing, uh, well, marketing aim, aims to, um, let's say, draw a line or draw the way with all the tools you're going to use in order to achieve the goal of buying and selling. Okay, those, those actions that are oriented to collect the money exchanging my product right yeah. fitting right. needs yeah and after that you have to start over time after time you you don't close the cycle you close one cycle and open the, the other one right so this is marketing and this is the business plan and we talk about products different products because we usually don't produce only one product we have product lines or we have um, product lines, correct. Exactly. Yeah, right. So we have yeah. different products. It's very important you, that you uh, es uh, explain because it could get confused, you know. It's, uh, uh, yeah. But right now it's clear. All right. All right. Yeah, this is really extends, but we are now focusing in the branding strategy that right. is in the marketing plan. Okay. Right. It is in the marketing plan. So this is what we're, we're saying, that we conduct a research, but the research can be conducted anytime, anywhere in the stages, right? It's not that uh, it takes only at the beginning. No, at the beginning, at the middle, at the end, and then to, when you renew, when, the, you're, when you relaunch, because you are always making decisions, right? according to the behavior of the markets, right? According to the behavior, if it increases, if it decreases in prices or in production, right? It can be affected for any aspect, right? Macroeconomics, macroeconomics, right? So yes, and the lack or the abundance of things also affects that demand and the supply low effects right so this is why we are um studying the branding basics because one of the things that is really important is how people recognize your business how people recognize your business for example this is a product that in el salvador may be uh, because it's against the law, and in some other countries, we uh, they have, um, a, let's say it's licit, okay, that they consume or they uh, do commercial activities with cannabis, right? Cannabis is a very, um, a, let's say, a, um, a very complicated. Um, a product, right? Because it has, for example, in our country, it's against the law, right? It's against the law. But in other countries, you can acquire cannabis uh, if you have a, a uh, I'm sorry, um, uh, a receipt of your doctor, okay? So if, um, if you need it, you a can get it. A therapeutical uh, Exactly. But they are now implementing this because now there, is, there are competitors in the market, right? So it depends on the behavior of markets and the necessities or needs of the target markets that you are going to change, create new strategies, uh, adapt new ways to conduct research, new ways to conduct um, these strategies, okay? So let's go back with the brand management. Remember, in the brand management, um, they um, are in charge of customer service. What do my company or my employees say about my product, my processes, my business actions, okay? 
uh, the after sale, for example, or the pre-sale, right? Company name, the company name is really important brand management. The company name usually is uh, the one that is going to be taxed, okay? La que va a, ser, a pagar impuestos va a ser esa compañía, ¿verdad? Entonces, pues tiene que tener un récord aceptable, right? So this is brand management in charge of to maintain clean this company name. Uh, the strong impression, strong impression messages. Messages when you introduce a product in the market, it has to uh, cause a very strong, very strong impression. And this impression goes the logo and the repetition, okay? Logo and repetition, uh, not only today, yeah? Maybe the uh, first six months before the launching, then you have your logo and you are repeating that you are launching something, right? Uh, and people will be expecting for this impression, okay? Then the value proposition, hmm, what this is for, yeah? And uh, the level, we are positioning our product, right? The price, the value added to. I have a price, but it's worthy, okay? This is what we want to communicate. The product benefits, the description of the product, how people recognize my product, right? If it is, if it is a product that it works or if it is a bad product, okay? Now, uh, <clears throat> this is about the vocabulary that we learned yesterday. But now we want to think about these two questions. Is a weak brand, oh, this is, this shows very, oops, little. Maybe the color, right? Okay, is a weak brand a good investment? What happens when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations? Okay, this is the discussion we are having right now in the breakup rooms, okay? You are going to give me a conclusion, a conclusion of five lines that you write if you want to write it or mm, say, uh, maybe two, three, four, five sentences, right? Explaining what you conclude about it. Okay. The consumer, the consumer don't don't buy it, don't buy the product. Mm -hmm. uh, the consumer try to find other option mm -hmm. uh, the consumer the consumer um, mm -hmm. um i don't know <laughs> okay now we are going to have the, this discussion with your classmates uh, in the breakout rooms, okay? I sent an image with the two questions and then you were going to come back with a good conclusion about these two uh, points of discussion, okay? What are we going to do in the breakout rooms, guys? We are mm -hmm. going to discuss the two questions. First okay. is the question about the investment in a bad, bad brand. Weak, weak and brand. Weak brand. And the second question is, I don't remember right now. 
Okay. Okay. I sent it right now through the chat here in Zoom. So I will open the, the rooms and please, uh, everybody participating, okay? I'll try, um, if you have listeners in your group, um, please uh, let them as a listen, let, let them be as listeners, but please everybody join your groups, okay? Everybody join your groups, even though you are a listener, go over there. It's not a problem if you are not able to give your opinion in this moment, but you are listening what your classmates are saying, okay? Santiago. Everybody, please join your rooms. No. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Sorry. Uh, I I think uh, uh, that for the first question is a good brand a good investment. I think could maybe, be uh, maybe could be. a good ah uh, could be. Mm -hmm.
and your job. Respect yes. the first question. Yes, okay. the five the five question the number one, the consumer, the consumer don't buy the don't buy the product the uh, the consumer the consumer try to find other other option uh, the company can be lose the pro prestigio I don't know how to say prestige yes yes prestige prestige uh, the uh, the company the company lose lose too much money and mm -hmm. they uh, somebody somebody lose the job <laughs> in my case Ajá, si tiene ma mala fama, o sea, también eso es, es, un, es algo que hay que tener en cuenta. Yes. It's uh -huh. depend of the information around the, the brand, the time to exist in the market. Some factors uh, take uh, in consideration for in Batman. Yes. And the second question, what happens when a brand doesn't meet customers expectation? Expectations. Yeah, uh, the sales is decreased. Uh, yeah. Are decreased. And decrease the brand and the company. Yes. For example, uh, for example, uh, or um, for example, in the in the social media, in the case the the problem in the store, the only is for uh, um, the problem the the famous um, no la pechada. pechada. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this, this this is a bad comment the the company for for the problem. Yeah, being very complication in the in, in, in the brand. In this case, for uh, in this case, uh, the brand and and the uh, the company because the uh, cambiar the the idea the the this problem. In tengo una yeah. duda con esta pregunta, no, no, no sé cómo interpretarla bien. ¿Qué pasa cuando uh -huh. a la marca? O sea, yo lo entiendo, o sea, bien. que cuando una marca, cuando una marca no cumple como las expectativas del consumidor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá, como cuando no, no hace lo que dice que debe hacer. Exacto. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá, cuando no, no, sé, como, cuando no sigue las expectaciones de su cliente o algo así en general yeah. ajá ajá como okay. que genera expectativas pero no las cumple ya yeah. oh. por ejemplo un un eslogan o un o un view product por ejemplo en la foto, ¿cómo se dice foto? En la foto, a una, a, a view the hamburger. Ah, ya. Y ver, en really, nothing, the, the view the photo, and the, and the really the product. I don't yes. know, the, this is a bad. Well, positive. It's a, it's a good example. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, for example. <laughs> in, the, in the picture, you can see the, the vegetable fresh, a lot of meat, and how do you say other Pressings. Pressings? Yes, dressings. Dressing aderezo. In the reality, you can see a, 
to breath. Sorry. Mm -hmm. To breath and a little meat. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, Anna was right. Uh, the happens in this case, and uh, the cells decrease. Maybe we have a demand. It's, it's correct, teacher. Demands. Yes. Demands. Demands. Mm -hmm. The consumer for, demands. Yes. For, how do you say engañoso? Publicidad engañosa. Mm, a lie, lie, lying, uh, lying advertisement. Mm, for lying advertisement. Or false, false advertisement. False advertisement, false. It's like a trick. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another idea. Right. Maybe the life of the product when do you use uh, only one time in, for example, a, a, a shoes and next is not a uh, good. <laughs> Yeah. Boris, what do you think? No. I I I I think the 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 consumer the consumer don't buy the the product. Um, is the Yes, good marketing strategy. Good marketing marketing strategy. 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 To become. Wait, wait, wait for me. To become. Uh, I'm the brand. Uh, creo que es como to become profitable brand como una marca rentable Prof brand um, uh, es, eh, creo que se escribe de esta forma Double F. Profitable. Para llegar a ser. Yes. To become a convertirse. Brand. Okay. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Pro profit. Profitable. 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 Okay. Nice. And what, what, excuse me, what happens, happens when a brand, when a brand meet, doesn't meet consumers? Meet consumers. Uh, expectations. expectations. Mm, they they less the uh -huh. comprar they have the comprar see the people the people or less the consumer 
No, the people, yeah. Let's, let's buy, buy the product. And the people, uh, uh, stop buying. Stop buying or stop consuming? Yeah, stop buying, the hard they, they comprar. Stop. Yes. Is buy or buying? Buying with ING. Why? The people stop. Uh, no, dejan de comprar. No tiene que ser en infinity way. Producto. Permítame, permítame. Hello. Hello. Did Hello. you get your conclusion? Yes, I think so. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Remember that you will share with the class. Okay. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, dear class, so is the turn for sharing, right? You will share your conclusions and also you will comment about the two questions we were discussing, okay? And uh, for the first turn or for the first presentation, let's see, the room number one uh, was compound by Fatima, Jose Miguel, Karen, Carlos Alberto, Edwin, Kevin, and Nelson. Please, this is your time. Tell us about your conclusions. What do you think? Well, uh, I don't know if Edwin or Carlos, creo que con Carlos. Okay, um, we decide uh, yes. the following conclusion. Uh, for the question number one, is a weak brand a good investment? Uh, maybe a weak brand could be a great opportunity to develop this brand, but in the 
investment. I don't know if it's correct. Yeah, but investing in this in in this um, state, I don't know if it's correct. Uh, in this state, could be a worse decision. It's a uh, fifty fifty percent. And in the group, in our group, voted and decided the following. Uh, answer uh, yes, it's a uh, three votes, and no, it's a uh, one vote. Conclusion uh, for most of us, invest in a weak brand is a good opportunity to make profit using good marketing strategy to become a pro profit. profit Profitable brand. Ed? Yes. Uh, for the question, what happened when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations? Uh, on this, the people stop buying and rate badly the product and share their opinion with other persons. And this could be bad for the brand because the people don't buy it the goods and we can lose a profit. Very good, very good. You did really a good presentation, guys. And yes, sometimes we agree and maybe sometimes it's a good investment, right? And sometimes uh, it's not a good inv investment because it's burned, <laughs> it's not acabada, right? But sometimes, yes, it is a good opportunity and then you um, see the opportunity and you get it, right? because it's going to be to become a prof profitable because I have the tools or maybe because I have the uh, the, the background uh, to to make it grow okay to make this function next uh, group next group is Alvaro Carlos Jose Salvador reactions oh yes you're right I forgot today reactions guys. Reactions, do you like or dislike? Uh -huh. Like, please. Likes or dislikes. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Let's see if we're going to give them a 10, 10 points. Let's see. All right. Yes. You got your 10 points, guys. Yes. With clapping. Yay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Yes. You did a very good job, guys. Yes. Uh, remember that uh, the uh, the better you um, let's say the better you structure your idea, the better your expression. Okay, so I think you did a very good job. So uh, let's start with Alvaro, Carlos, Jose, Salvador, and Ulises, Santiago, and Will. I'm arriving, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Wilbur. Oh, good evening and welcome. Yes, it makes us happy Thank to you. have you back. Yeah. Okay, then, Alvaro and uh, who wants to start, guys? Alvaro and uh, let's see. Alvaro, do you want to start? And yes, then Jose uh, Salvador and then uh, Santiago yes. and Wilbur. Okay. We. We who group uh, say that the by sentence with op with op with opinion uh, uh the sentence number one uh, is the same uh, the consumers the consumer uh, don't buy it, don't buy the product because don't don't like the product or don't put the expectative for for him. Uh, the number two, uh, the consumer, the consumer, uh, 
try find try to find uh, other option with the other product or a similar product or the other or the other brand yes and the number three uh, when the company uh, when the company can be lose the <laughs> lose the uh prestigio <laughs> When the campus company loses the prestige, prestige, mm -hmm. prestige, loses the prestige, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, because uh, the 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 company uh, don't for the expectative the the consumer, right? Okay, they they don't fit the needs. Mm -hmm. uh, the number four, the company loses. Too much money uh, because because the same the reason uh, in the number five <laughs> somebody can the job some somebody <laughs> loses the job yeah okay <laughs> uh huh yes you're right yes everybody's fired yes mm. you're right and not only one maybe it's the whole company out of the business, right? Yes, you're right. Okay, then it might be, it might be the beginning of the failure, right? The beginning of the failure when you don't meet the, the needs of the target market. Yeah. Okay, guys. So the last group, the last group is formed by Elias, Ana Lorena, Boris, Hosman, and Rafael. Please take your time and Share with us your opinions. While well, you're preparing, guys, reactions for the for Alvaro's group, likes or dislikes. Okay, very good, Alvaro. You have fun. You see? <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, teacher. Uh, in our case, the first question, uh, we believe that is depend the condition about the brand. If the brand is a start, maybe uh, is a possibility to invest investment because it's a, a brand in growth but it's if the brand have a long time in the market is not good because uh, her uh, rendimiento mm -hmm. uh, is bad okay uh let me see uh rendimiento rendimiento english rendimiento i'm i was expecting for some support here because i have a very good president business right beside me <laughs> okay let's see rendimiento about profits or rendimiento uh, in the function or in the performance? What, what do you want to explain there? Maybe profit because it's not- Okay, but uh, can, can you repeat? Can you repeat the sentence? Uh, if the brand have a long time in the market, uh, mm -hmm is not a good idea because the profit is bad, uh, is a weak brand for the okay. reasons. Not so good. if the brand has a long time in the market, so it's an old brand, right? Yes. Uh, in the market. Uh -huh. uh, it's not a good idea uh, invest. Mm -hmm. okay. it is not it. a good idea to invest mm -hmm. in it uh -huh. because the profit is 
Uh, small. Ah, reduced. Okay, ah, Redu really. the profits yeah. are reduced mm -hmm. or limited. Okay, yes. or limited. Maybe they have just uh, a top right there, right? It doesn't go over and it doesn't decrease. It maintains, but it's limited. It's limited it's just in order to function. <laughs> Yeah, it's in order to function. So when you said about rendimiento, I think in this case it's performance, all right? Performance, okay. yeah. If we say rendimiento in uh, ganancias, then will be profits or prof okay. profitable, okay? Profitable. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, no sé si alguno de mis compañeros <laughs> opinar en la segunda. Rafael, uh, um, I think uh -huh. the I think that the 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 I think that there is a this this And you repeat, the, Boris? Uh, I think uh -huh. uh, that there is a this 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 enchantment mm -hmm. uh desencanto this this is this is chairman this enchantment on the part of the the buyer the buyer um buyer this is on the on the part on the buyer uh, and this uh this can generate generate uh loss of loss of potential uh -huh. cost customer oh yes you're right of course mm -hmm. but that's yes, in the second uh, in the second question right mm -hmm. yes uh uh i think the i think the 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 brand can kill the product oh uh -huh. here it works the word the performance of the brand the performance or the building of the brand can kill the product okay mm -hmm. only that all right all right so guys, uh, we are talking about increasing and decreasing sales, right? Increasing and decreasing sales. So the main purpose of marketing is to make the actions of buying and selling profitable. Yeah, profitable. And the branding strategy, the branding strategy makes our brand, our brand recognize. Um, recognized by the people, by the potential customers, by the target market, okay? So um, let's think in some uh, practical terms, okay? Mm, with examples, with examples. Do you remember the toilet paper Delcy? Do you remember? Cakes. Delcy? Okay. And it became another brand, right? It became another brand when Scott came into the market because it was like a merch or something like that. Um, it was not a weak brand. It was not a weak brand, uh, at least not a weak product. Yeah, it was not at least uh, a weak product. And I don't remember if it was Kimberly Clark. I don't remember. Uh, but Imagine that if there was a big brand behind the strategy, there was a branding strategy. Okay, the, the strategy there was the branding strategy. Uh, let's think about another product. Do you come up with come up with another idea, another example in the market that you know that they have been rebranded or I don't know if if it could be a, um, a good example the, yes uh, uh, they are they have a uh, relationship with vehicles 
just like uh, Nissan. Nissan was introduced in Latin America like uh, that soon. Oh, really? No, yes. Okay. Because uh, the 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 manufacturing uh, talk uh, the name of the brand, it could be a, a bad name. So they uh, they decide to change the, the the name brand the brand name. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Interesting data, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about um? The Apple products, Apple products, it, is that a strong brand or is that a weak brand? Apple. Is it a strong or is it weak? What do you think? Apple. A strong brand. Okay, a strong brand. Aha. Uh -huh. What about Ilasal? Is that a strong brand or is that a weak brand? Uh, I know it's a strong brand because it's a group of uh, manufacturing. It's not only one uh, manufacturer that they have. Yes, they have, um, I think, um, my, um, 12 operation. plant operation, right? Because uh, it's a group, it's Ilesal and Confecciones del Valle and Blue Logistic and other ones. Oh, okay, okay. And, but Do you I know? Think, mm -hmm. uh, but I think Ilasal it was the most famous, unique uh, towels uh, in the world. Around the world, okay. Around the world, that would be the first one because okay. they have this motif on this uh, this uh, class uh, uh, on uh, uh, technique that. They couldn't copy uh, nobody. Oh, okay. They have developed their own technique. They love the with this uh, with the 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 motif on with the all this uh, uh, with animals on all the things. The, uh, the Chinese the Chinese couldn't couldn't make that. They but couldn't. No, no, no. Couldn't. Nobody could. On the, mm -hmm. That is the reason because they have had uh, Ilasal in Mexico too. But okay. later, uh, up, uh, the 20s, uh, 2000, that began uh, the Chinese uh, to know the technique on Ilasal is not the big one, the, on the most uh, unique, unique uh, towers in that kind of product. Okay, so they have developed not only a very strong product, but a very uh, strong branding strategy, okay, or, yeah, or promotion right. strategy too. Correct, correct. They have a complete marketing strategy behind, the right? Different, they, they, they make a difference mm -hmm. in another towers, right? Okay, yeah, they but, have been differentiated. But, but in, 2000 uh, began decline, you know, the, 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 because mm -hmm. uh, uh, they have uh, the, 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 the top. Would that be the reason that they, that what Edwin was saying, right? That they have different producers now and they have been making uh, these uh, yeah. a mergings, right? Mm -hmm. Like yes. merge. Mm -hmm. Yes, because they have the, 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 the mark saturation. All right. But they were looking for new markets and new countries, right? Yeah. Where, where yeah. Ilasal wasn't a uh, known yet. Yeah. All right. Now, people, I will share with you a link, a link. And this link 
is a video. So you are going to watch this video. It's kind of long because it, it's uh, about three minutes, but this is about Unilever, uh, Unilever uh, let's say strategy in general, okay? Unilever strategy. You will see what is branding in this video, okay? Meanwhile, you're watching the video, I will call the roll, okay? Okay, people, I will call the roll. So please, when you hear your name, you say present. Turn your camera on also. Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present teacher. Boris Alexander Cortés Cáceres. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Here I am, Martínez. here I am. Okay, Álvaro, I checked you in already. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. I saw Carlos Alberto over there, is he in? Yes, he is right there. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present teacher. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Elías Neftalí Martínez González. Present teacher. Okay. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. I know you are there, right? Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. This is a listener, right? Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Salvador, thank you. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present. Thank you. Karen Lizette Sanchez Castro. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Present. Okay. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Present. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present. Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. Okay, thank you. Excuse me, I'm watching the, the, the video. I didn't say, excuse me. Okay, Santiago, thank you.
So imagine this brand is a strong brand, right? It's a strong brand and they have different components. And in that video, it summarized all of this, the brand definition, the brand definition, what they are for, what do they exist, the mission, the vision, mm, the brand values, um, what, uh, what are the promises that I am doing or I am um, giving to my customers, my brand identity, my brand identity. And usually they identify with a target market, yeah, because they have like differentiation and prices too for different, um, a, let's say, purchase power, okay? So <clears throat> the brand messaging, what they want you to know, they, um, they trans, uh, transmit what the wholesalers need to know, what the retailers need to know. But and to, to build a value that nature, nature provides too, huh? They exactly. Constant. And, they, they are the social uh, component. They got it for the people. Exactly. Exactly. So it can be immersed in the brand experience too, to feel that they are with the community. They are in the cooperation and the values. Mm -hmm. uh, they well, are developing, de developing, I'm sorry, uh, different actions against the harm of the environment. Okay. Uh, they, or, they have a, a purpose. They a, have a purpose. A goal. That, Right, the brand definition, goal, right? The brand, brand definition, definition, right. Exactly. So these are elements and they are not fixed in one order, but there is only one that we need to, uh, uh, to start. I mean, the first step, the first step is to create the identity and the identity comes from why you exist and how you want to achieve your goals. Also, the values that are around the behavior of my company in a community, okay? In a community. So all of these elements are the components of effective branding, okay? Of effective branding. What do you think about the brand definition of Unilever? What do you think the brand definition of Unilever is? Uh -huh. Consumer products, accessible products, and they are changing just as the world is changing. And they are part of the world changing, right? That will be the brand definition. They are always there. They have been always there. Yeah, that's the brand definition. They exist. They, they are making a sustainable living commonplace. Exactly. Uh, that is the reason what they are uh, 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 selling the products to. Okay, very good. With, so, with new technology too, this is very important. You They want to... Uh, uh, that the people, the healthy, the, pep, the people are healthy too. Exactly. That you are not making any harm. You, you are not damaging anybody. You are not damaging anything. You are right. not damaging the environment. You are part of the, um, let's say, the good changes, right? The good changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... These are the new words for today. Brand definition, brand values, brand, definition, brand, values. Mm -hmm. brand promise, brand, promise. brand identity, mm -hmm. the brand differentiation, market position, brand experience, brand messaging, 
the communication with the customer, the communication with my distributors or anybody that form, uh, forms a part of my company or my um, business activities, then they need a message from me, from, uh, from me as a company, okay? That I am right uh, back, okay? Um, and I am accomplishing my objectives, but not making you any damage, okay? Mm -hmm. To acquire them or to achieve them, all right? So uh, allow me to go right there with the Unilever thing. And exactly that. They say that they believe uh, their values, they be, their beliefs, right? Uh, they believe that the winning businesses of tomorrow will be those which anticipate and respond to the huge changes shaping people's lives across the world. I will, I will send you this a link for everybody to read what I am reading. Okay, there it is. Their beliefs, right? Their beliefs. Their strategy is their purpose to make sustainable living commonplace. Let's say our purpose is to make sustainable living commonplace. What is their purpose? Their purpose is to make sustainable living commonplace. That's a, um, it's not a tagline, it's not a slogan. It's not a slogan. You will see the slogan and you will see their, their tagline later. But look, it says, we believe that the winning businesses of tomorrow they are not talking about just uh from today right uh it says of tomorrow they are expanding to the future with their goal will be those which anticipate and respond to the huge changes shaping people's lives across the world yeah so they say also that they capitalize on the power of data and bio, biotechnology, adapt to shifting consumer needs, yeah, and contribute to tackling the twin challenges of climate change and social inequality. This is what I was trying to explain. And these are very good words, climate change, and social inequality. The social inequality is that they make accessible the products for everyone in the differentiation of their products and their pricing strategy. Okay, allow me to go to the part where, where it says in the number two of their strategy. Do you see the number two? Who wants to read the number two? Um, we will win with our brands powered by superior products, innovation and purpose. And purpose. You see, they are giving a definition of their brand here, okay? The definition is that they produce superior products. Yeah, and their promise, innovation, okay? Their promise is innovation. And um, when they, uh, for uh, the, last, the last one, it was uh, the brand experience. The brand experience is to share the purpose, to share their purpose because their purpose is existing for the people. 
yeah for the people if you see everything is coaching everything is coaching and they say our brands will be built on advanced science and will grow by delivering functional uh, i'm sorry functionally superior products as well as taking action on social and environmental issues that our consumers care about they will improve the health on the, of the planet improve people's health and well-being and contribute to a fairer more social and inclusive world okay so they are building their brand but not exactly the products they are building what they are unilever yeah it's a big and strong um, brand okay so it's not about only one product right it's about what you are what you believe what you exist for and what are your purposes also the tools that you are going to use to innovate the tools that you are going to use to uh, create uh, new ways of feeding needs of people or meeting needs of people okay now just the last thing let's go to our manuals and in our manuals uh, remember that we are um, we, we started answering the word the two questions about the weak brand and when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations. What do you think about Coca-Cola? What do you think about Unilever? Are they weak brands? Uh, and, and Unilever, they have a lot of products. It's not only one product, it's a family of products, right? A big family of products. Do you think they are weak branded products? No, right? No, mm -hmm. they are strong. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's look at the conversation we've got right here. It says, read the conversation and take turns practicing it. I just, I will just read the conversation. Okay, because it, mm -hmm. Tell what me. page? Oh, I'm sorry, it's the 27. 27. Thank you. Yeah, I will share it. I will share it. One second. Actually, I always have an assistant here. But today she wants to take part of the class. <laughs> Okay, here it is. This is the conversation. Let's try to make it bigger. It says, watch this TV ad advertisement, okay? They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. <laughs> the marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. All right, let's uh, read it again, okay? And let's say, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Okay, everybody reading the conversation for just seconds, okay?
Okay. Mm -hmm. When they say made you faster, uh, is hacerte más rápido, correr más rápido? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, it's kind of a joke, right, or something. Así como cuando uno dice, ha de ser de oro, vea, <laughs> o algo así. Mm -hmm. O tiene una cualidad excepcional. Okay. En este caso, eh, no sé si se han fijado que a los niños ustedes les compran un par de zapatos nuevos y dicen, ¡Eh! con eso, esos zapatos sí son rápidos. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Any other question? What is the meaning of make you float like a feather? feather. <laughs> okay, uh, have you seen a feather? It's really light. A feather of a bird, of a bird, yeah? Una pluma. You yeah. can fly, you can fly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flota en el aire así como, yeah, ah, yeah. bien yeah. suavemente. Yeah, if like Freda, a feather. The feather is sustained in, in the, on the loaf. I'm sorry? The, the feather can sustain in the loft. Se sostiene en, en el aire, in the air, in the air. Oh, okay, all Our right. loft is uh, German, excuse me, uh, <laughs> okay. in the air. In yeah, the air. I was trying to, to check, but yeah, what did you say? Ah, all right. That is the reason the name Lufthansa. Ah, okay. Yes, but yes. look, feather, a feather is, uh, a thing of a bird, right? Una pluma, yeah. yeah. So it's it makes you float like a feather, yeah. They are very there are, comfortable. There are a, there are a name uh, a, a, a box is a feather a, a, a weight. Peso oh yes, feather weight. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. And boxing, yes, yes, yes you're right. Boxing, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What do you mean, mm -hmm. do you mean either? either? Either. Tampoco. Quiere decir tampoco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't either. Yo tampoco. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What is the meaning fuzz? Fuzz? Fuzz. Fuzz is uh, la bulla. Eh, ¿Cuál escándalo. es esa bulla? Eso, escándalo. Escándalo. Yes. Escándalo. Yes, escándalo. Escándalo. Yeah, that's fuzz. Ajá. Dice loud, similar. Uh, something loud? Yes, but bulla, mm, no. It's crowd. Bulla es como noise. Mm. No, it's Scandalo. crowd. Mm? Crowd. Noisy. Sure. Yeah, like noisy, but not uh, not in the bad way, right? You know, okay, todo el mundo está hablando de eso. Yeah, so, está ahorita Just como like en la bulla. Yeah, like something like that. But, pero en realidad es como, a ver cuál es el escándalo, pues. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Something like that. All right. Let's listen to, uh, let's say, Boris will be Andrea and let's see. Salvador, you will be Vincent. Are you ready, Salvador? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Watch this TV. Um, they are say, selling shoes that can make your blood like a Peter. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those they are too expensive. I would either, but a brand that delivers what it 
promise makes customer buy. Buy it regardless of price, maybe. They really make your faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. All right, very good, very good. Now let's listen to Lorena as Andrea and let's listen also Edwin as Vincent. Listen to Edwin. Okay, teacher. Uh, watch this TV uh, ad. Wow. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers delivers what it promises makes customer buy it regardless of price maybe they maybe they really make you faster the marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes i think i will buy a pair it was all the first it's about Okay, very good. I loved when Edwin said, I will never get a pair of those. They're too expensive, like with, uh, I don't know, like uh, uh, despreciando ¿verdad? el asunto. Así que, ah, yeah, <laughs> I love that intonation, Edwin. You did a very good intonation in that sentence. Thank you. Yes. All right. Uh, the last uh the last um uh, pair let's see we want to listen to okay rafael and let's see hosman please hosman you are vincent and rafael you are andrea okay ready hosman Ready. Okay. Watch this TV ad. No, 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 no. Watch this TV ad. Ah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you flow like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of shoes. They are too expensive. I will neither but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price maybe. They really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get at calls these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what haul the food about. Okay, very good. So let's refine some pronunciation. Make you float. Make you float like a feather. Make you float like a feather. Uh huh. This is make you float like a feather. And this is TV ad. TV ad is a TV commercial. Okay. So we have to say, watch this TV ad. This TV ad. And the other one was. Um, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. Okay. And okay. here it says what it promises. What it promises. What it promises. 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 Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the other was. Mm. Just this one, promises, uh, regardless, 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 just as it is written, that's the way to pronounce it, okay? So I will read it 
very slow. So check the pronunciation and try to say it with me, okay? It doesn't matter if you don't open your microphone, but look, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about, okay? Did we get it better? Ya fue mejor la última vez, ¿verdad? Okay, people. De todas maneras, tengo que tomar la asistencia. Así que, recordemos cuáles son los componentes. Let's uh, recall the components of the effective branding. Do you remember? Do you remember the components? No. Okay, I will show you then. The components. Remember the promise? Remember the definition? Okay. Brand is brand, mm -hmm. brand identif. Hmm? For my brand identif. Brand different. Market position. Market yeah, position. But I'm brand experience subject, subject, brand experience <laughs> exactly so i have to call the role so remember you are going to give me one of these effective branding components all right got it got it are you ready yes sir okay so here we are Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Here I am. One component. Ajá. Remember, teacher. Okay, let's say brand definition. That's the first one. Brand definition, okay? Say it with me, Álvaro. Brand definition. Brand definition. Yes, that's your present. Now, uh, Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Brand values. Okay. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. Market position. Very good. Market. Brand. Position. Brand position. position. Brand okay. position. Very good. Okay. Brand. Brand position. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Brand, brand experience. All right. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Brand values. Okay. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Brand promise. Okay. Elias Neftali Martinez Gonzalez. Promise. Market position. Okay. Uh, it's brand position too, okay. Eulise Torres Torres. Mm, brand identify. Uh, identity. identity. Identity, okay, very good. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. Present, brand definition. Okay, great, Jose Miguel. Thank you. 
I know you're a listener right now. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Market position. Very good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Brand definition. Okay, Karen Lizette Sanchez Castro. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Identity. Very good. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Brand identity. Very good. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Mm, brand messaging. Oh, good. Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. Brand differentiation. Very good. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Brand value. Very good. Okay, people, thank you everybody for being here and for your responsibility, your effort yes. you are doing. I appreciate that. Remember to do your homework and see you tomorrow. Have a very good night and take a good a night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Have a good night to you. Alvaro, it's your turn today. Good night, everybody. Good night. Hello. Hi, Alvaro. How are you tonight? Fine. Okay. Is there anything I can help you with? Do you have uh, any no. question? No, at this moment, because I am in this uh, take take this this class for me is very hard because I am I am working tonight oh. and the and the because I am I am working in the a new project in the in the company in the go live the last the last Saturday the and I and I can and I and I really have, and I have and I have a, and I have to go the company in the night or, or, or which one hours? Okay, so you say twenty four seven. Yes, because I am, uh, because I am support to the system, new system. <laughs> Is uh, that software? Yes, but I am not, I am not, uh, I am not a uh, uh, system engineer, but I am, I am work to the implementation to the new software, software in a, a level to user, a level to use it, but I, I can say that mm -hmm. because, because uh, when this, when this class start started uh -huh. uh, the last month uh, i am in torreon mexico mm, i am okay. i i was i was in torreon mexico and now in this moment i am hermosillo sonora oh my goodness uh, yes mm -hmm. the, um, them i am take the they the airplane the the all the all mexico the state Okay, okay. So, well, this is uh, really amazing. Amazing that you stay still in this program. I expect, well, I think that you expect to learn more, right? And yes. well, actually, I'm here to support you. Anything you need, you just tell me, okay? And you have just to do your homework on the platform. And if you don't understand I any do topic, you may go to the to the class video, okay, to yes. to clarify the concepts, clarify the yes. definitions, terms, translations, or anything, right, that yes. you need, okay? But here we are to support you, and we are uh, to take you or to guide you through your, to, to achieve your, your goal of learning English, yes. okay? Here we are. Mm -hmm. So don't worry. Uh, I was checking on the platform and you haven't uh, finished unit one and unit two, if I'm not wrong. So- uh, Yes. My... No, I am finished two, no, but I am this uh, tonight and, 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 and this week, mm -hmm. I try to I try to finish, 
I tried to finish the two and three and two and three and and the midterm test that's that's what is important too. yes yes okay. mm -hmm. because uh because the last week the work is very low uh, 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 mm -hmm. one day low in the va de bajada <laughs> ah okay uh -huh. yes. Okay. The height, the, the last the last week and this week mm -hmm. uh, is height work. Okay. In the All top, right. but then the next week or oh, in this uh, you will have just more. a little more time available yes. to do it. Yes, because right. the the learn the learn the people the learn people and they, I am teach I am trying to teach the new system. Um, oh, so you're a trainer. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, uh, the curve. The cure learn uh, is the plane. Try to oh. play to play the curve. Oh, okay. All right. All right. No problem. Um, as soon as you work on the platform, I think you will get your 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 eighty percent and more. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Try try to get the one hundred percent. Okay. Try to get yes. the one hundred percent. Remember that your attendance score has been irregular, yes. right? So I will I will write also your your comment uh, from tonight, um, yeah. clarifying your your the point why you haven't been participating regularly. But yes. um, well. This is good. This is good to know and interesting. So I just want to encourage you to continue. Yes. Okay. I just I want to encourage the, you. I am here in the hotel in this moment. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Well, then I think uh, you need to, to take a good rest. Okay. Yes. So okay. Uh, if you don't mind, then we can finish. All right. Okay. All right, then have a very good Teacher, night. En, en este momento ya español, ¿usted cómo oye mi pronunciación? ¿Me entiende? ¿Siente que o o o o o, o, o este chavo está hablando por gusto? <risa> no, pues que se vale, no, porque a veces creo que es una de las cosas que 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 de las cosas que más me me preocupa, ¿no? Hacerme entender, no sé si me entiende, me entiendo, me hago entender bien o o, uh -huh. o no. No, claro que sí. En el nivel en que estamos, usted tiene que considerar varias cosas. Y yo como maestra lo que considero es su forma de estructurar, ¿verdad? La estructura básica usted la maneja bastante bien. Recuerde que siempre va a ser ordenar su idea con subject, verb, and complement. Si usted ordena su idea de esa manera, de la, o sea, yendo a la forma más básica, pero extendiendo vocabulario, que es lo que estamos haciendo, ¿verdad?, eh, yo creo que vamos por el buen camino. Eh, a veces, pues, obviamente se nos abruman las ideas y tenemos que sí. tomarnos el momento de ordenarla. Entonces, mi mejor consejo, hasta donde yo lo he escuchado, es que a veces se le abruma la idea, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo es de... muchas palabras a la vez. Exacto. Entonces, regrese a lo básico y ponga sujeto, verbo y complemento. Okay. ¿Quién lo hizo? ¿Qué hizo y cómo lo hizo? Solamente oh, okay. eso, ¿sí? Okay. Y no, no trate de decir algo que todavía no conoce. Use el vocabulario. No, no, me refiero al, a, digamos, no sé cómo se dice. Usted usa mucho eso, decir, a veces me quedo de que sí sé el concepto, pero no recuerdo la palabra exacta, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces use todas las palabras que estén a su alcance y usted conozca en ese momento y poco a poco en el uso, la otra persona le va a decir la otra palabra que usted se le ha olvidado en ese momento. Y entonces ya vuelve y se refresca y ya la vuelve a utilizar. ¿Me entiende? Okay. Úselo como una estrategia. Y okay. pues eh, a la hora de estructurar, siempre recuerde sujeto, verbo, complemento. Pero al mismo tiempo recuerde que hay, no, no hablamos todo el tiempo en el mismo tiempo, tiempo. verbal, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo ubicarse en el tiempo de decir, ok, pasado, presente y sí, futuro, okay. ¿verdad? Eso, más bien. El imaginario y los condicionales vienen casi que como automáticos de último, ¿verdad? Okay. Ahorita los medio conocemos, los medio manejamos, pero con conocer el presente simple, el pasado simple y el futuro simple, ya la hizo, ¿ok? okay. Y eso sí lo maneja bastante bien, eso okay. sí lo maneja bastante bien. Okay. okay. Perfecto. Gracias. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y sabe noche. qué, a veces, solo una ¿Sí? cosa, a veces la pronunciación le va a ayudar eh, volver a lo más básico que sería conocer el sonido de cada letra. Okay. A la hora que usted está leyendo, se le va a hacer mucho más fácil si usted conoce el sonido de cada letra. Ok. Ok. Entonces hay que regresar, no a, a aprenderme el abecedario, porque ya lo conozco, A, B, C, D, E, el nombre de la letra, no, el sonido de la letra, ah, sí. A, ¿verdad? A, yeah. o las combinaciones, los sonidos especiales, esas cosas, ¿verdad? De la okay. pronunciación de la fonética. Ok, ah, Álvaro. Perfecto, gracias. All right, have a very good night then. Yeah, thanks. Ok, goodbye. Bye.